continuing this series of video tutorials, recreating the travel site here on my homepage of mygonzamedia.com slash travel1. Notice that I've logged into the back end so I can see the various settings for each section. And I also have my website that I'm creating. We've now reached row two here. So if you open up the back end of the model site, and you go to row two, you'll notice that there is a series of columns here. There's one here, another one here, and then four here. So the way we're going to set this up is we're going to set up a three column layout, which is 20, 20, or two, two, and four, 50% on the right side, and then 25% on those two columns there. So we're going to set up something like this. And then over here, we're going to create four columns over here in this 50%. And that's going to be right here. So the tool we want to use is called Intersection. So right here, Intersection, you're going to drag that there. And notice that it creates two columns by default. But if you right click on one of those two columns, notice you can do Add New Column. Now I have three, and I'll do it one more time. Any one of these, I can right click on it and add a new column. And now I have my four columns. And notice that this right column here in the in the 50% is right in the middle of your image. So let's go back to the model and notice that that column is right in the middle, right where it divides right there in that light and dark section. So that's why I created it at a 50 50% 50%. And in fact, I can probably move this over a little bit right to about there. So remember, you can adjust these to the right and left. So what we're going to do is we are going to create one of these columns, and then get it all working, typeface, notice there's a little rollover there, and then duplicate it three times so that all the settings are the same, and then just swap out the images and the text. That's going to save you a lot of time. So let's go here first, oh, and then we'll adjust the margins and the paddings to get all this layout correct. So we're going to go in here to this column right there, and we're going to add in the Style tab, we're going to add a background. And it's just going to be a, a normal photo. And the photo we want is of the Maldives, and it's this one right here. I think either one of these will work. Notice it's 320 by 500 pixels. That'll give us plenty of space. Now, you'll not, you won't see it here. There it is there. You don't see it because I don't have anything in this column. So these three text blocks here, actually there's four. There's one right there. That's an edit divider. That's just, that's just a divider. So let's put in a title, a divider, and then two more titles, and that'll get us that layout there. And you're going to drag out first off a heading that's going to go right there. And let's not worry about the text for now. Let's drag out a divider now. Image divider is right there. We're going to drag that out underneath it right there. And notice we can adjust the, the weight, the color, and the width. That's why we're going to do one and then to copy it four times so everything is consistent. So notice that the divider is kind of a gray color right there. So let's get that working while we're here. The color is going to be kind of a gray color. That looks about right. And again, you can adjust that to match it with the model. And again, I recommend opening up the back end of the model. And that way you can copy the colors exactly. And then next, we're going to do another title or another heading. Sorry. And that goes, just make sure you put it in the right spot. That should go below the divider. And I missed that. So remember, there's also a history right here. And you can undo the very last step right there. Okay, so I made a mistake. So let's drag out another heading. That's got to go below the divider in the right column, but there it is there. You can double click on the text and delete it. And we're just going to type in here Sunny Ari Atoll. And the color is obviously white, so we'll go to Style and make the text color white. The typography is default. I think the size is different. Something like that. You can also adjust the sizing there, the spacing between there. So let's go ahead while we're here and change that. You can also click on this little icon. And this is going to be Maldives. And it's obviously a white color on the text. Now the topography here is different. Again, you can look to see what this one is. And notice under typography, it's yesteryear. Uh, I'm not sure the size on that, but we can adjust that. So we're going to go to typography, and we're going to do a search here for yesteryear right there. That looks pretty good. And then the last one we're going to do is the pricing, and that's going to be another heading as well. So we're going to drag that heading. Just make sure you drag everything into the right place. 
like that. And again, the style text color is going to be white. The size, obviously much smaller. So again, adjust it according to the model. And that looks pretty good. Now you'll notice that the picture is not tall enough. See, that's going below the wave there. And this one, it's just showing the very last of the of the price. So here's where the advanced tab comes in. That's kind of the purpose of this next row is to really give you some practice with the advanced tab. Now you'll notice that if I add, take off my link values together, and if I add 200 of bottom padding, I have I now have a nice long image. And I think also it's in the middle, so you can add some right and left padding to move that. Let's do this here, advanced. Yeah, I was doing just one of the text elements. You want to do all of them together. So make sure you're in the right column. And I want to do some top padding here to bring that down so it's not hugging the very top there. Let's add a little bit more left so it's in the middle. And that's pretty good. Now, there, this right here is not far enough. It's too far from the line, from the divider. So again, remember that each individual element right here, that sunny our Atoll also has an advanced setting, and I can turn off either the margin or the padding and adjust it here to bring that up where it should be. And likewise, if that divider is too far from the Maldives or not far enough, you can adjust it. Okay, so now that we have our background image and our titles as well as our divider, and we've set up all of our margins and paddings to look like the model, You'll notice that in the model here, there's some overlays. These are colored overlays over those photos. And also, when I roll over them, those overlays get darker. So those are called overlays, background overlays, and the rollovers here are called hovers. So if you look at one of these under the style here, notice there's a background overlay. There's a color there, but there's also a hover color. See that? And the hover color is darker. So the background overlay is kind of gives it a tinge adds interest to the photo and then the overlay kind of gives you feedback that that is working there's some response there so what I recommend that you do is actually go through and look through all the different sections and roll over things to see what the hover settings are so let's go back and add our overlay so we're going to do that to the column right here not the individual text headings or divider but to the column there click on style and then notice down here is background overlay and let's add a normal, just colored overlay to that. And notice that as I change this, it gets darker. And you can also do different shades, different colors, see more purplish, more bluish, more greenish. I'm going to go over here to the kind of a dark green and then lighten it up like so, maybe a little bit darker. And then go to the hover and let's also add a background classic color to the background. And we'll just do it darker. So when we roll over it, see it just changes color there. I'll let you adjust the colors, but that's how you set those up. And go ahead and update your work. And also a good idea to preview the changes now and roll over that. And notice that is, in fact, changing. And if you'd like, you can match what I did here on these. So now that the hover color change is there and the settings for the margins and paddings are all there, we're now ready to move this entire section up over the first row. That gives us what's called an asymmetric balance, adds some kind of interest to this. So the whole thing, notice the whole thing is up a little bit up where these are. And then these two are adjusted. So I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to go back to the section here, to this right intersection. And notice that we're going to take our margin setting and make that negative. Positive will move it down, negative will move it up. And I'm going to move it up again, looking at the model as a guide. Looks like it's well, it looks like that picture is a little bit wider there and a little bit taller. So I need to add more picture there. I'll do that by adding more padding to this section. I'll let you do that. But let's say that that's where it should go. And I'm now ready to duplicate this and do the next column over here. So the way you do that is you right click or control click if you're on a Mac, right click, edit column, and duplicate it. Now you'll notice that I have too many columns. So what I'll do is I'll right click on that column and just delete it. So as I go through, I'll just delete the columns. I could have actually done that to begin with as well. I could have just had one column and then duplicated it. So now all I do, everything is set. So now I just come in here to the style and change the image. And so the next image is the England Big Ben, this one. And I'll insert that. And I'll change this to England. And 
this to Magnificent Big Ben. And you can see how easy this is to now duplicate all my sections because everything has been already copied over, and that's 1635 on the price. My dividers are already there. My margins are already there. My rollover is already there. Notice that the color of that image is quite different now because I have an overlay on that. So you can change that as, if you wish, but I'm going to leave it for now, assuming that's what you want. And then let's go ahead and make this one, this second column. Notice that that's coming out. That's quite a bit of different color on the overlay. So I would recommend adjusting that to look better like this one. But let's now take this column setting. Once you move this up, it's a little bit hard to edit these, so you may want to wait. Uh, if you try right-clicking as well, and I don't want to edit the heading, I want to edit the column. Right there, edit the column. You have the column right when you can see the image here of Big Ben. Notice I don't, I don't have that correct. So I'm having trouble selecting that because it's the reason is that it's overlaying this row, and so it's hard to click on that. So what you may want to do is hold off on bringing that top margin. See, let's see where I am here. Yeah, you, want, you might want to bring this back down to zero. And then let's adjust, now that, now that it's down there, notice that I can edit this much easier. I right click on it, or just click on Edit Column, and no, there's Big Ben. Notice that I don't, I don't have it if you don't see Big Ben there. So I'm going to edit the column, and there it is, and go to Advanced. And then this one, notice the margin is just a little bit less. Again, remember to turn off the link values together, you'll get it, you'll get it skewed there. So I'm going to take that back to zero. So just play with this, but turn that off. And then I think that's going to be like a negative 50 or so. Not positive 50, but negative 50. And move that up about 50 or so. Whatever that distance is here, right there, is what you want to bring that up. So there it is. And while I'm here, I can also duplicate this one. Actually, I probably should have duplicated it before. I brought it up there. So let's go back to zero here and let's duplicate it. There it is. And I'll let you go ahead and then delete this one. I'll let you go ahead and put in the right picture. But then what you'll do is you'll just right click on this, edit the column, and again, go here to advance, turn off the link values together, and that's going to be about a negative 50. The idea here is to learn the concept of margin and padding and also asymmetric design, is that that's a, just a more interesting design. So I'm going to duplicate the last one here, and then delete this one. And let's quickly swap out the photos, edit column. And the third photo is Italy. So we'll go here to Style, and remove Big Ben, and put in Italy here. And the third, the fourth one is Turkey. It has a nice purple overlay on it. So we'll edit the column and we'll go to style and swap out the image. We'll do this one. What you'll do is you'll bring this one up to match the other one, which was about 50. But go ahead and get that exact and bring it up so that it's equal. Again, use the numbers. And you can also remember at any time, go and look to see what the model did here to get those numbers exact. But that's how you're going to do it. Once you get those images swapped out, let me go ahead and pause the recording and get those images in. So I've got all my images in and my headings are correct in my text. Now let me show you how to move this up to get this layout. But also let me show you a handy tool. Once you kind of get this complicated structure with overlapping sections and multiple columns, it's kind of hard to select and find things. So let me introduce you to the navigator right here, this icon right there. That'll show you the structure of your current page. Notice I have two rows. Those are referred to as sections here. This is the first row. The second row is here. And notice that I have three columns, one here and then this intersection. Notice that these two columns are empty. So the columns here should say empty, this one and that one. Both of them are empty. And then the third column is the intersection right there. And then the intersection has four columns. And there are my four columns, one, two, three, four. So if you want to edit the first column, just open that up. And then notice that you have your heading, you have your divider, you have your other headings. So if you want to work on, for example, Italy, you can click here 
but if you can't reach that, maybe it's overlapping something, you can find it very easily by going to the third column and then the top heading right there is Italy. And notice that's actually the fourth one, Istanbul right there, historical Istanbul. So it allows you to kind of select things easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this section right here, intersection. I don't want to move this whole row up. I just want this intersection because remember I need to add some stuff over here. So I'm going to take that intersection. I'm going to go to the advanced tab. I'm going to turn off the global setting and then I'm going to remove margin and just move these all up like so. And again, I'll let you adjust these numerically using the master here. You can just go to that section and find out what the numbers are, or you can just do it by eye. So that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and update, and then I can preview my changes, let that load up here. And that's looking pretty good. I can adjust this left and right by using the margin, left and right margin. Notice that that's all the way over to the right, so I can adjust that using that margin setting. I'll let you do that on your own. And now let me go ahead and add in the text down here. I'm going to be essentially using the middle column. I'm going to throw in three text elements. So that's a heading, that's a heading, and that's a button. Two headings and a button. So what I'm going to go do is go over here. I may need to adjust this a little bit to get that formatting correctly, but I'm going to go in, add a heading, and I'm going to add another heading below that, and then a button. And I've already demonstrated how to modify these. So there's the button. You'll want to modify them so they look like this. This is the yesteryear typeface. This is the default typeface. And this is a style of button we haven't done yet, and then an icon next to that. So I've gone ahead and formatted the two headings and the button. I've also formatted these columns. So let me give you some formatting tips to help you finish off this section or this row so we can go on to row three. Here in the main section, that's the, remember this is divided into two sections now for two rows. Close all these up and you can see those two sections. So in this section here, go to the advanced tab and set the bottom padding to 150. That'll bring that up from the bottom. And then each individual for these two columns here, so remember, that's going to be in the intersection column two. You can tell by looking at the style and looking at the image. So for the Big Ben image, go to the advanced and add a bottom padding, a uh, bottom margin of 50. And that'll bring that up. Notice if I add more, that makes that shorter. So you want to make these all the same height. And the way you do that is add some margin on the bottom of these two, 50 or 60 or so, and then some padding to this whole intersection, about 50. Use the navigator to help you. This button here, a couple points, you're using an icon, you're using all caps, you're removing in the style, you're removing the background color and you're adding a border type. Adjust that to match the model. And then this, remember that, that typeface right there, the blue, the blue color, by the way, I just copied this blue color. Another tip is to copy the background color here. Copy that X, hex value and then go here and change that color to the same. You want to match all your colors and then the topography, remember, is yesteryear, about 24 point. Again, adjust that by your eye. Same with the popular tours. And then I brought this down a little bit. Notice if I go to the advanced tab right here in this section, I've added a little bit of 65 pixels of padding on the top. Check the original to make sure there's no big mistakes. Like I think this pricing here is too big. If you notice mine, again, that style here, under typography, you can check the size. It doesn't say it's the default size. I believe it's 18 is the default. So we want to go back and just adjust that. Yeah, 21 is too, is too big. I think that's 18 or so on that pricing. But go ahead and adjust that. So that should give you enough to pretty much reproduce this page pretty closely. Not exact, but pretty closely. And then let's move on to the next video, and I'll finish off this series of tutorials with a review of the next couple sections down here.